guys so today we are going to put heat transfer vinyl on flip-flops and I've already done a pair I did um, a pair with the rose gold Caesar glitter heat transfer vinyl uh, I think that looks really cool and then we're gonna do the Caesar neon this is a neon raspberry we're gonna do that on this other pair and so I just grabbed some inexpensive flip-flops I just use these to go check the mail or take the dog out or whatever when I'm home and I have my clover mini iron too so this is the clover mini iron and this is really handy for small things like this I've done the tops of my shoes you can do um, small parts like the back of a baseball cap um, any little area that you don't want to put under your press or doesn't fit under your press or your home iron doesn't work this thing is great it gets really really hot so it does have this little guard here but this whole metal area gets extremely hot for heat transfer vinyl you'll see there's a high a medium and a low you want to use it on mid uh, if you put it on high it's way too hot it actually will melt the carrier sheet and down through your vinyl don't ask me how I know that <laughs> But you want to use it on mid and it does take a little bit of time to heat up so i usually plug it in um, a good 15 minutes before i'm going to use it just so it's heated up and it comes with this little stand but i don't put all my faith in the stand this is a silicone um like a oven pad or whatnot it can withstand like 500 degrees so i just keep it under here in case this happens to get knocked off the little stand I'm not going to burn my table or my desk or whatever it's sitting on and then I have some parchment paper and you can pick this up at the grocery store um, at the stores like Walmart Target um, and just just grab that you can also use a Teflon sheet but I like to cut this down to the size that I need it and I don't want to cut my Teflon sheet so I'm just gonna tear a piece off and I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm going to cut my paper down to a more manageable size just so that I can get in there and work without having all that paper in the way. So, so we already did the glitter and so I'm going to do this neon. So I'm going to get this placed where I want it. Make sure that I like it where they are in relation to each other. Okay. I'm going to place my parchment paper over top. I'm going to take my iron. Again, make sure that you don't touch this metal section at all. And I'm going to put a link to this. I'll put a link to the uh, vinyl that I'm using. I'll put all of that down below. Um, in the description so you can click on that and you can find out exactly where I got it the flip-flops are from the Dollar Tree but I'm using pressure um, you don't want to use so much pressure that you feel like you're gonna break the iron but you do need enough that's gonna get it to stick so I just kind of move it around You know, and I don't know that this is going to hold up for years and years and years. I don't know that it'll hold up if you wear them every single day all summer long, if it would hold up. Um, but I use scrap pieces of heat transfer vinyl. Um, you know, I think I use like a three inch by four inch, five inch section um, to do this one. And so it really didn't use a lot. So if it peels off, you know what, I'll just add more or... Or whatever and then I'm just gonna pull this off you can see that came right off and you can see that it's kind of taken the shape of the flip-flop so what I want to do is I'm going to lay this back down on top and just go over it one more time you might be able to do this in your heat press I'm really worried about the heat press melting the straps if it happened to touch like with this one going in between the flip-flops uh, I'd be really worried about the, the heat press melting these and you're not going to get good pressure or anything like that when you're doing that so this mini iron uh, comes in handy so again you can see and this is really neon pink to me I don't know if it's coming through on camera 
but I think it looks really good. So now we're gonna do the other one. I'm gonna use the same piece of paper and then just again, just pressing down. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. This um, neon heat transfer vinyl changes color a little bit when you first press it and then as it cools it goes back. I don't know that that's intentional. Do you see how it's kind of purple? I don't know if you can see that. But I'm just pressing this down. Don't go super fast. You're not ironing a shirt. And again, add that pressure. Keep your hand off the metal bar there. And you can buy different size attachments for the head. You can see there's a screw here that comes out. There's a bigger foot that you can get. Um, there's some others that you can, it's just for different types of projects. It's really a multi-use tool. You can do more than just heat transfer vinyl with it. It's really good. Like if you make bags and stuff and you fold the corners out or pillows, you can kind of get in the corner. Um, if you need to iron it out after you've flipped it right side out. Let's see if we're ready to come up. And we sure are. I mean, it just comes right off. So you should do that. It just, I mean, it just comes right off. There's no, there's no effort trying to get that carrier sheet off at all. The glitter was a little harder to get to stick than this has been. I don't know if it's because maybe my iron's a little hotter now. Um, I don't think so. I think it's just the... The vinyl. I know that the glitter has a little higher pressing temperature. I just want to seal that in. Again, it's cooling off. It's, it's a little different color when it's hot. It's kind of cool. Um, but, I mean, it's on there. See that? It's not lifting up really super easy to do you could name them uh, put like put your kids names on them be great for like a big family um, beach trip or if you're doing something for Labor Day and taking the family get everybody their own pair of flip-flops with their name on it and then there's no confusion it looks like it's coming up a little bit right there let's just push that back down and it's easy enough that you could pack your your iron with you and, and do it as a as a group thing you're one of the ones that likes to take your cameo or your cricket or something like that on trips you could take the iron and people could design their own flip-flop uh, design you could take the iron cut it out and you can do it right there that'd be a really fun activity um, to do if it's on a rainy day or just something to do when you can't go out anywhere but i think that turned out really cool so i'm really excited so we have left and right and we have our fries before guys uh, that's it again I'll put some links down in the description below so you click on that where you can get the iron where you can get the heat transfer vinyl these flip-flops are from the Dollar Tree and again the parchment paper from the grocery store Walmart or Target and if you guys have any questions of course let me know and have a great one thanks guys